Mr. P's Science and Math Podcasts. For more science and math concepts, search me out on iTunes by typing Papa Podcasts. You can contact me at papapodcasts at gmail.com. Other Papa Podcast titles include Chemistry Podcasts, Math Podcasts, which look at quadratic functions, polynomials, trigonometry, linear mathematics, and physics podcasts. Thank you for watching. Identifying slope and y-intercepts from equations. So we've looked at uh, in standard form here, the equation ax plus by plus c equals zero. Uh, and the format in which that we want our equations to be is in the form of y is equal to mx plus b, where the value of m represents the slope and the value of B represents our y-intercept. Identify the slope and y-intercept. So let's look at a couple of equations and try to identify the slope and y-intercept in each one of these equations. When the equation is equal to y is equal to 3x plus 5, if we look at this value here, we have y is equal to mx plus b. So the value that is in front of x when, in this format here, the value here in front of x is 3. So therefore, the slope here is 3, which any whole number translates to 3 over 1. And the reason why we might want to write this is because this 3, by writing it in a fraction form, the top number, the, the numerator, represents our rise. The denominator represents our run. And the y-intercept, our b value, is equal to positive 5. Let's look at another example here. y is equal to 2 over 5x minus 7. Again, the value here in front of x when in this format here is our slope. So our slope value, our, our m, is 2 over 5, which, because it's already in fraction form, rise, run. And our b value, which is our y-intercept, is equal to negative 7. Let's look at another example here. y is equal to negative 2x plus 9, again. The value in front of x, when in the format of y is equal to mx plus b, is our slope. So our slope, m, is equal to negative 2. Whenever we have a whole number, we can write this slope down as negative 2 over 1 to show us the rise and run. Whenever we have just a whole number, as we have in this example, and as we have in this example, keep in mind that the whole number represents the rise. Notice how the run in both this example and this example, because we have whole numbers for our slope, that the run is always 1. Now let's look at our last example here. y is equal to negative 1 over 4x plus 5. Again, the value um, here, we have another negative value. Treat the negative always with the rise. Because the rise is the only one that can either go up or down. The run is always going to go in the same direction. Always going to go from left to right, just as we read in the English language. So, our slope here is negative 1 over 4, which means the negative 1 represents the rise. But because, as we said, we have a negative rise, it means we're no longer rising, but we're lowering down by one unit. And the run is always um, in the same direction. And again now, our b value is equal to positive 5.